love you. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a test drive. <laughs> They're gonna let me test drive one of these electric bikes. We'll see what it is. Uh, it's incredible. I've never seen anything like it. Hey folks, and welcome back to Patia. Today we're going to talk about powering up. That's right, I got a new power up for the for the new bike here. I'm getting ready to test it, but we'll, we'll come back to that later in the episode. Also, we're going to go to another bike uh, shop, and we'll check in on the, on the old bike. I'll tell you all about what's going on with that. And lastly, we will visit a brand new electric bike dealership. They are incredible out of this world. Uh, something that uh, I didn't even think existed yet. But anyway, let's go back to this morning and just jump into it. I'm out on Third Road today, right by Patia Klang. I've come to a place called Remap Patia. There's the sticker. Look at that. And I met a guy uh, about a month or so ago. He's got a bike like mine. He came here and got it remapped. And remapping, it, it, it's just a, a more efficient way for it to deliver power. He said the power is up, I don't know, like about six horsepower, maybe like 20, 25%, something like that. So it's supposed to be 2,500 body, hooks it up to a machine, a, a laptop rather, with software and all that, and gives you a better tune, more efficient tune, which increases power and uh, riding experience, hopefully. So we'll see, I'm gonna try it out. Uh, nothing ventured, nothing, <laughs> nothing gained, right? Uh, but really, really nice guy, nice little shop here. Very, kind of the place you just ride right by if you're not looking for it, but um, I'll, uh, I'll throw a location in the description or something. No great big signs out or anything like that, but it seems like the guy knows what he's doing. And uh, we'll get that taken care of, then I'll go out and test it out, and we'll see, I'll give you my impressions. But in the meantime, because it's going to take about an hour or so to do that, I was at another shop the other day with the other bike. So let's go take a look at that and uh, see what happened there. And then we'll come back, and hopefully by that time this will be done, and we'll be on our way to test it out and see if it was worth it. So the bike place called today. We just, I think I don't know if it's done or not. He said we could come. I don't know. Finding out what's going on. At least an update. <laughs> it looks like it's put back together though. be fixed. <laughs> if you buy an old bike, be prepared to work on it. But here, plenty of people to work. Well, not plenty, but depending on the style of bike, this guy knows. I'll show you. He's got other bikes in here. Uh, CB1000, that's sweet, huh? There's the CB400, all stripped down. So once again, he, is, he has kind of redone the carburetors on it. That's been like a reoccurring problem to get right. Seems like they're never quite right. He really liked my bike and might want to buy it. Yeah, he said one thing, it needs to be ridden more than what I have time to ride it. And, there, uh, the way I look at this project, it's been going on over a year, well over a year, and I think it's, I think it's done. It kind of did everything I wanted to do to the bike, had a lot of fun on it. But there's another project that I just can't get out of my head, and I think it might be time to shift gears, so to speak, and finish this one project, get rid of that, and uh, start on the new project, which I think will appeal uh, actually to a wider audience. So I'm considering that. <laughs> So back 
back at remap Pathia. He is just about done, just about got everything dialed in, and he'll uh, he'll go for a little test on it real quick, just to make sure before I leave and do my own test. <laughs> So in case you're wondering, he does all, all kinds of bikes here, all sorts. I believe the scooters, everything. So it doesn't hurt to go by and ask him if you're in town. He may he may need a couple days to get the right equipment for your model or whatever, but I think uh, he can definitely help you. But anyway, we had a little uh, photo together, and then it was time for me to head out and do a little test of my own. I got the, I got the tune all tuned. <laughs> it's definitely a little bit better. I'm out testing it with my buddy CJ. Hey. What do you think, CJ? The tunes, the tunes, same, same, but different, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is very different. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, he saw I had a little wobble in the back wheel, so I'm gonna give him my camera, let him uh, uh, put it on his bike or whatever. But we're out riding around on some trails, and then um, supposed to meet another buddy out here. Maybe we'll get something to eat. But uh, I, I definitely, definitely see a difference. So. I think for a quick 15 to 20 percent horsepower raise for about what 80 dollars uh, i think you could do a lot worse it only took him about an hour the guy's real friendly i just think it's a little bit much for it because it only took him an hour it's just a software thing it's no parts it's plugging a usb cable in but uh i guess he's got uh i guess he's got to pay for the software and everything else so i just think that's a little bit high but uh it does work definitely feel a difference low end punch high end uh power some more high end power as well so the um, remapping worked out okay. CJ and I rode around and did a little video. I just got a message from somebody while I was sitting here. I was talking to CJ. The guy said, Would do a video about what you like about riding motorcycles. And uh, it's not a whole video, but uh, he suggested it was a sense of freedom. And that's it, too. But for me personally, I, I think it's um, more of a challenge than driving a car. It makes you constantly think. You constantly have to be aware. There's more physical... Uh, it's, it's more hand-eye coordination. It's a lot more intense than driving a car. It just gives you that thrill and excitement. Uh, a little bit on the edge, but a little bit exhilarating. Uh, I just, I, I always like a challenge, and I think it's more of a challenge, and that's why I like riding a bike. Plus, it, he's right, uh, the sense of freedom, being out on the road, uh, you, you, you're not surrounded by metal. It's just you and you, whatever, your, your bag. <laughs> if you got a bag with you and your bike, that's it. Um, so. It's uh, not for everybody, I realize that, but since somebody asked, I think maybe some other people were wondering about that. So there it is, there's the answer. I get my breakfast sandwich. You get a breakfast sandwich? Yep. He got a breakfast sandwich. He, he seems to have indicated in the affirmative that he got a breakfast sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm here with, with Danny and his drone, CJ and his racing bike <laughs> for a 150, faster than my 300. But he's tweaked it. But anyway, um, we're going to get set up and I'll ride around and we'll try to get some uh, some drone footage and we'll look around and see what's doing. What was your last video, Danny? Um, uh, sunshine in my heart. Sunshine in my heart, Thailand, or uh, idiot in Thailand. Idiot in Thailand, yeah. That's me. Why do you call idiot in Thailand? You're a smart guy. Well, what's your <laughs> last sunshine video? And you said... <laughs> But that was from a few years back, you know. Well, he's been here. How many years you been here? Um, 2002, so 19. 19, going on 20 years, so yeah. Uh, I guess we all have our moments. But he's got all kind of gear. These guys both, I, I got nothing compared to these guys. <laughs> I mean, you look at all this stuff, big fancy tripods and drones and... But I got the bike, that's what I do.
Did it work? So welcome to Black Bull Patia. That's right. On the way back home, uh, DJ said, hey, let's stop here. It's really cool. And I said, well, okay, I'll, I'll humor you. I, I'm not that much into electric bikes, and I know they exist. I did a piece on them last year, but uh, I got to be honest. Uh, kind of really, really glad we stopped for one. But two, the, the things that I saw in here and experienced, I never would have dreamed. So uh, this nice lady here, she took, care of, uh, she took care of us in here. She's like the proprietor. She'll show you around. But some of these bikes, uh, 20,000 watts of power. Look at that. That's up from 2,000 watts on some of those scooters. This guy's 8,000 watts. So, uh, yeah, I was, I was impressed to say the least. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a test drive. <laughs> They're gonna let me test drive one of these electric bikes. We'll see what it is. Uh, it's incredible. I've never seen anything like it. These last year I did a thing on electric scooters. They were all 2,000 watt, 2,200 watt. These things are 8,000 watt. One of them's 20,000 watt. Uh, this little dirt bike over here is 3,000 watt for a little light lightweight dirt bike. So uh, we'll see what it's gonna be. <laughs> bike. Wow. Uh, oh, okay, okay. So they're telling me I gotta take it easy. <laughs> Mine very powerful too. Now you have to kickstart this one. Oh. <laughs> CJ got jokes. <laughs> oh yeah, look for the kickstart. Oh. Look at that. Turn up, turn up. Oh, up. Four up, four up. My me, I need clutch, Simon. Clutch, same, same. Okay. I'll take it easy. I'll go slow. My first time on a real, real electric bike. Four gears on a dirt bike with 3,000 watts. And they told me to take it easy because it's powerful, so we'll see. The position's kind of... Okay. <laughs> wow, it even has a little bit of a noise to it, like a, like a motorbike. Wow. thing takes off power <laughs> Whoa. no mirrors it feels like it sits up kind of high and there's a gear indicator I'm in second gear I will do a rolling full throttle second gear. Oh, the front wheel's coming up! Oh my god! Wow! The power is instantaneous! Oh my god! Yeah, I wasn't quite thinking about this bike correctly at first. I was comparing it to my bike, a bike that's made for the street, but also for the dirt. This is not that. This is basically a dirt bike. This would be on par with like something like a KX250 or something like that, a two-stroke all-out dirt bike. It runs out quick. Top speed wouldn't be, but acceleration is. And, and just in second gear, it was, I could feel the front wheel coming up on full throttle. Yeah. Wow. Fantastic. Unbelievable. Nothing, nothing at all like the electric scooter I drove. Last year I test drove that electric scooter, it was 2,000 watt, it was just for something around town. This, wow, real power, almost scary type power. <laughs> and I don't know, this thing is legitimately kind of dialed in and geared as a dirt bike. Very low gearing, goes through the gears quick, gets up speed very quick. I can't imagine it not going up a hill in that low gear. It just pulls like a freight train. And the only problem is if you live in a condo, you need to have an outlet. If you have a house or something, just plug it into any, any regular outlet. I'll show you what the charging pack looks like. Comes with every bike. But in, in a condo, I don't know. 
I, I, I would almost guess later there will be some kind of facility in these condos in Patia to accommodate that. There's going to have to be. This is really becoming a thing now, these electric bikes. So, and it's gone way beyond a simple e-bike like this one. Now, I drove one of these last year up in Isan. A buddy, a subscriber, let me come by and drive one. Um, and it was nice, and it's a nice way to get around town. But this is next level. This is a real performance bike. And I'm almost afraid to get on one of these ones with 20,000 watts. <laughs> It'd be like a ZX-10 or something, I, you know. Wow. So, they're very nice here. Cop, 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 Black Bull, it's Black Bull. Uh, Siam Country Club Road, Soy Porn Pranamit, Bright by Porn Pranamit uh, 24. I Soy Porn Pranamit 24. Come by and see him and uh, if you want an exhilarating ride on an electric bike, this is your store. <laughs> They've only been open about four months there, but what a difference a year makes going from a scooter that would barely get out of its own way to one of these high-performance electric bikes. Just incredible. Big special thanks out to Danny from an Idiot in Thailand channel. Yeah, I'll link his Songkran video that he alluded to below. It's really neat how he juxtaposed a busy normal Songkran against the, the current day city streets in Padia. And another big thanks out to CJ. CJ, same, same, but different. Uh, thanks for coming along, buddy. Had a good time, and thanks for the camera work so uh, i had a little crew out here with me this this day but we all had a good time and there you go we powered up in patia i'm happy with my remapping uh we'll see uh, what's going to happen with the old bike and i don't think one of those electric ones in my future anytime soon but hope you enjoyed the episode i'm gonna go ahead and leave this one off right here and as usual i'll thank you for watching and until next time bye for now